What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and we are talking about the fight between Marlon Moraes and Corey Sanhagen. Now, fight starts out fairly competitive in round one. Um, you know, they were feeling each other out, throwing some good strikes. Nothing really significant landed in that first round, though I did feel Corey uh, was controlling the range and distance a bit, bit better and landed some decent punches as well. Uh, though Marlon did get on top at the very end of that first round, I gave that first round to Corey Sanhagen. But round two, spectacular. You could tell that Marlon was getting a bit flustered by the range control of Corey Sanhagen. A big shot landed, cracked the orbital of Marlon Marais, and then a spinning wheel kick knocks him down, and then the TKO victory by Corey Sanhagen. What a performance and a, a destruction of Marlon Marais, one of the scariest strikers in the UFC, especially in the bantamweight division. He's an absolute beast, um, and we just saw Corey Sanhagen starch him in two rounds. Corey Sanhagen needs a very big fight next. I will put on the screen the opponent that I believe should be next for Corey Sanhagen. Aljamain Sterling versus Petr Jan Winner. Assuming they're fighting, it's not 100% yet. We haven't had a confirmed date, but I do believe that's the next fight to make. I think he deserves the winner of this fight. Yes, uh, he lost to Sterling recently. It was a quick submission win. I don't think the fight would go the same way if they fought again. Petr Jan poses an interesting style. Very good grappling, dangerous boxing, but the range that Corey Sanhagen has, I believe that he really would give problems to Petr Jan as well, and I do believe he could give Aljo a lot of problems if they fought again, and I did think that he would be able to win that first fight granted obviously the quick submission very good grappling if he can defend uh the grappling attacks of Aljamain Sterling that's a very interesting matchup and I would like to see the rematch now I do know that the possibility of him getting a title shot off just a one fight streak is not a guarantee even though Jose Aldo was given a shot off a loss recently in this division so I think anything is possible but if not I will throw another name in the hat that I feel is worthy of a fight and this one to me it is very very interesting. January, TJ Dillashaw will be able to return after his suspension. Fighting Corey Sanhagen in a number one contender fight, I think is the one to make, if not the title shot for Corey. I think this is a very interesting matchup. Both guys, extremely good strikers, well-rounded as TJ Dillashaw as well. And I'd really be interesting to see this stylistic matchup and especially TJ being off for as long as he has, how he bounces back. And I do believe he'd want a high-level fight immediately for his comeback. I don't think he'd want any uh, low-level tune-ups or even a, a risk fighting a guy at the back end of the top 10. I think Corey Sanhagen versus TJ is very possible if the title shot is not given to Corey um, after the Aljo and Petr Jan fight that is supposed to be happening. Now, let's talk about Marlon Moraes. He did suffer a really devastating defeat here, but I do think he will be back. I mean, he's a high-level guy and one of the best bantamweights on the planet, and I could see him in the title shot mix um, against anybody. Just stylistically, was a very bad matchup against Corey Sanhagen. I really knew the range control was going to give a lot of problems and we did see that here and I was actually more impressed by Corey than I would expect that I would have been I thought the fight would go a bit longer but Corey gets a stoppage in the second there before Marlon Moraes I think that you have to give him a big fight. The first option that comes to me is you do Dominic Cruz, Marlon Moraes. It's a massive main event. I think that it sells. I think people would love to see that stylistic matchup. You have the great movement versus a very heavy power striker. Um, Dominic Cruz obviously is not going to have the range that um, Corey Sanhagen had or the reach either. It's a lot more uh, close in size matchup. And I would like to see this fight. I think it's very competitive. And I'd be curious to see who wins that fight. It could see Marlon getting the knockout there. But... Now, second option, because it's not guaranteed that we're going to see Dominic Cruz uh, be given a fight against Marlon Moraes coming off the loss to Cejudo. Granted, I mean, he was just in a title fight, so I don't know, maybe not a bad idea to give him a big fight because, I mean, Marlon Moraes, number one contender up until this loss. But there is another option uh, coming off a defeat against Frankie Edgar was a disappointing outcome, a bit of a controversial outcome. Pedro Munoz. I think this is an interesting option as well. I think it's a fun matchup, but I do definitely lean Marlon Moraes in this fight. I really think that he can beat Pedro Munoz. The styles match up fairly well, and I think we could actually see a knockout victory for Marlon Moraes in this fight. Um, either of those options seem very good for Marlon. Uh, I do think he will bounce back with a very impressive win for Corey Sanhagen. I think he belongs right at the top. So if not the title shot, it's TJ Dillashaw, number one contender matchup, in my opinion. I don't think the Frankie fight makes all that much much sense 
Uh, I don't think Frankie actually beats Corey Sanhagen as well, so maybe they do it. But I mean, the Pedro Munoz win, does that account for then fighting Corey Sanhagen, uh, the number one contender for Frankie? I don't know if it does, but he may find himself in a title shot because the name value carries a lot. Obviously, dropping down a weight class, you have a fresh start and you still carry that world championship name. But all right, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Also, guys, follow my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and I'll see you all in the next video. Let's <laughs> go.